Hello, how are you today? We will be going over the importance of celibacy in regards to spiritual life. So without further ado, let us begin. Brahmacharya is a divine word. It is the sum and substance of yoga. Through avidya, this is forgotten. The importance of brahmacharya was emphasized by our great rishis. So avidya means knowledge. Avidya, the absence of it, is essentially an ignorance of who we are. In yoga, it is often referred to as the root cause of human suffering. And a lot of things, ailments, etc. comes from this lack of not knowing. A lot of things happen because of not knowing. The lack of knowledge would lead to your demise in many, many circumstances. Therefore, Brahmacharya is one of the solid, the most divine in yoga is Brahmacharya. It is the supreme yoga which Lord Krishna emphasizes repeatedly in his immortal song. In chapter 6, Sloka 14, it is very clearly stated that the vow of Brahmacharya is necessary for meditation. Brahmachari Vrait Stitta in chapter 17, sloka 14, he says that Brahmacharya is one of the requisites for the austerity of the body. Now we have another statement made in chapter 8, sloka 11, that yogis practice Brahmacharya in order to attain the goal spoken of of by the knowers of the Vedas. So, the ultimate goal of the Vedas is true enlightenment and becoming conscious with the Godhead, becoming one with the Creator, working your steps backwards until you can make your way back to the Creator while in the physical plane. That is essentially what the yogis understand about brahmacharya. It's a practice of moving in reverse. A similar statement is also found in the Kato Panishad. In the Raja Yoga of Pantanjali, Maharashi, also, Yama is the first step. Yama is the practice of Ahimsa, Satya, Astiya, Brahmacharya, and Aparigraha, non-killing, truthfulness, non-stealing, celibacy, and non-receiving of gifts. Among all of these, Brahmacharya is the most important. In Jnana Yoga 2, Dhamma, or self-control, is the foundation for the student. In the Mahabharata, again, you will find in the Santi Parva, many are the branches of Dharma, but Dharma is the basis of them all. So Dharma, self-control, is the most important because self-control is practically the foundation of all the other ones. For all the other Dharmas, that specific Dharma of control is the most important. That leads to diligence, mindfulness, concentration, right view, right thinking, right speech, right action. It all leads to this, but essentially the foundation, the groundwork, has to be self-control of the Dhamma. Brahmacharya is the vital subject for those who want success in the material or spiritual life. Without it, a man is absolutely unfit for worldly activities, as well for spiritual practices. So it is necessary, whether you want to conquer the physical plane or the spiritual plane, Brahmacharya is the vital life essence. With that being said, guys, this has been the importance of celibacy and spiritual life. Feel free to like the video.